What's good, gang? You have your boy Jordan GK, guys. It's been a hot minute, man. I think I've been away for about two weeks. Um, obviously, those of you that knew where I was, obviously, I was away for a week in Birmingham. Uh, but now I'm back. I'm back. I mean, uh, last week there are a few things I had to do um, besides YouTube. Um, so I've been very busy, man, these this past two weeks, and I'm shattered. So. I'm hoping I can get back on track uh, with the channel. Um, I mean, I've been away for two weeks. Um, I don't think anyone's missed me because I, <laughs> I haven't received any message from you lot, man. What's, what's going on? Nah, but I'm back, man. Um, I'm back for good. Um, but anyway, yeah, you'll, you'll know if I'm away for a week or if I'm busy. I usually will let every single one of you know beforehand. If I'm sick or something comes up in my life, then, you know, I you know I rarely miss a day anyway. I mean, I think that is pretty much like the first two weeks I've actually ever missed since I started this channel. So um, it's been a bit of a weird experience not filming and recording, but um, I'm back. Um, so excited to get going again and I thought I'd give you something a little bit different okay this is uh Kevin Samuel's crazy savage moments now if you haven't seen this guy uh, this guy is really funny I mean he's a uh, I think he's a relationship relationship ec ec ugh, relationship expert sorry uh, I think he may be a psychologist as well I'm not too sure um where his qualif where his qualific oh my god where his qualifications lead him. Uh, I'm not too sure, but um, he's a funny guy. I mean, he, he usually goes on Instagram live. I see loads of TikToks of him um, talking to women that want men to, you know, men who have higher paid jobs and want a six-figure guy, but they're not even on the level. They're not even on the six-figure level. And it's like, why would you expect a man to go out of you when you're not even on his level like what are you bringing to the table that is kind of like what he goes off um but i just thought reacting to it would be just something different It'll, it's going to be a funny experience um and just to hear what some of these women have to say and listen this isn't a dig against women like i know there are you know very successful women out there very intelligent women out there it's got nothing to do with being a man or a woman but I'm pretty sure most of these women are pretty deluded in their situation. Um, so that's why I wanted to react to it, just to see um, what these women are saying. And hopefully you guys will, you know, react to it too and let me know what you think. But anyway, guys, before we start, make sure you do leave it with a like, subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Guys, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Trust issues with women or whatnot. So... I'm like sharing my location with him just to make him feel comfortable. Is that Are weird? you, have you had any therapy? <laughs> yes, I have. In the you, past. You need to go back. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> You're already trying to make him feel comfortable two weeks into it. Right. It's too much proving <gasps> to do. You're not his, you're not his wife. I'm just being nice and being like, That's hey, not being, like, no, it's not, no, no, it's not being nice. It's being a people pleaser. That's not normal. That's not normal. You want to be nice? All right, let's go out a couple of times. I need you to give me $10,000. Be nice. Oh, be, be nice. No. I mean, come on, be nice. I mean, come on, be nice. I need $10,000 and we need to go ahead and run the soul train up. Be nice. No. <laughs> of course. So, you, so, so there are things that sound crazy to you. Yes, yes. Sharing your location with somebody you've gone out with That's twice crazy. is crazy. Okay. What you mean? I give myself a solid 9.8. <laughs> that stare though. Being pretty is not enough for a lot of men because I'm pretty and I'm still single, so. What? What do you want? I, I don't, I, I don't know. I really okay. don't know what I want because these men, they don't know what they want. A lot of men don't know what they want in women. Mm. You said yeah, we, we know. 33. We know what we want. 33. So regardless as to what men want, you don't know what you want? How can you come on live, yeah, and start saying that 
the men that she dates don't know what they want from her, but she don't even know what she wants. Like, guys, do you actually see yeah, how, like, silly some people can be? Like, how can you not know what you want in, from a man or know what you want in a relationship, but then you think you have the right to say, oh, these men don't know. Come on, man. I mean, I know what I want. But... Well, what is that? <laughs> guys, remember the first thing I said about ego? They're not willing to be honest. Be honest with you, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what I want in a man. Like, I've been screwed and fucked what? for so long, I don't know what I want in a man. Just in this little bit of time of talking to you, it's been chaotic. I'm just asking you just the basic stuff about your, who you are and what you want. And um, the way you told the story is, yeah, you can't make this shit up, people. <laughs> to let you know, I have completely changed my life and made it 360. The 360 puts you right back where you were, but I understand what you're saying. I think I made a 180. I found Lord and uh, I got a man that's got money now. I don't keep. You found the Lord? Yeah. Where'd you find him at? I didn't know he was lost. I didn't know where the Lord was. Hmm. Okay. This is all inside of the last four months, right? Three months, four months. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of changing in three or four months. You said yeah. you got a man that has money now. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I just wanted to let you know. Also, I wear my bonnet in, in in public. I saw I saw what you had to say about that. You know, I get where you're coming from, but at the same time, you like can't make this I, shit up. Hmm? <laughs> at the same time, you what? Did you tell me shut up? No, no, no. I said go ahead. You said at the same time. At the you... same time, I just don't see what the issue of wearing a bonnet in public is. Honestly, man, these these, these women here. I got here. married, but I don't want to be. With you got married? Woman. Yeah. You currently married? Yes. I'm oh. Married, yeah. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, ma'am. Are you trolling me? No, I'm not. A platform with a million folks actively talking about leaving your Job. husband to get back with your ex. Because he's high value, and I. See, this is this is this is the kind of I have to be very careful with my words here, yeah, because I mean listen, either way I'm I'm either gonna get hate or I'm not gonna get hate. But this is what this is the kind of women that man you have to be careful with. And listen, the men men do the same shit. He's high value, but why what happened then? Why would you leave him get back with her ex? So that basically said that's saying that she left him for another man. She, she got mad. You made you've made a, a commitment to this guy, a written commitment. When you get married, you have to sign papers and listen. But now you want to get back to your ex because he's higher value. And it's like when you when you say he's high value, that means he has more money than this guy. Honestly, man. I just see it. Like this guy Kevin says, yeah, you can't make this up. You can't. And the reason you want to break your covenant with God and wreck your home of the pipe fitter guy is because the previous guy was higher value, meaning he earns more money. Yeah, and his social status, how he looks. Social status. It would say that this woman he got back with is the one he always wanted. She belongs and to the streets. <laughs> really? These, um, excuse my French, niggas alone, they always want to take me to court. Yeah. What does that mean? It means that it's like when I break up from with a guy, I go through divorces because they can't take me leaving them in the dust, in the dirt, where I left them at. Because <laughs> they don't act right. So I have to move on. Is that right? Mm, something wrong with you. Right why are you so? Why are you? Why are you such a poor judge of character to pick me and you gotta leave? Run that back. I couldn't really Oh damn. No. Oh damn. Why are you yeah. such a poor judge? No ma'am. I no ma'am. I listened to what you said. You came right. in talking about how you feel like you in divorce court because you gotta leave these men in the dirt. And all I hear is you're a shit judge of character picking me because you don't leave quality men. <laughs> 
You absolutely right. So God, please stop sending me. That's no, no. God ain't got nothing to do with it. No, God ain't got oh. nothing to do with it. Please don't bring my God into this. <laughs> He couldn't have children. Why are you trying? Bro, I, I, I honestly, I can't stand it when people try and bring God into it, yeah? Like, listen, I'm, I am I believe in God. I'm a big believer in God, but I never, ever bring him into my shit. Situations that I should be handling myself, I try and bring God, God, God like, God, God's not going to do nothing for me. Listen. I can speak I can have I can speak to God, I can have a relationship with God about problems and but if I'm causing shit, why are you gonna be asking God like he said, yeah, poor judge of character and this must be something wrong with you. You must have something going on if you all these men ain't right for you. There's there must be a problem with you. Anymore. And yeah. he was unaware of that. Wow. So I she like left her husband because she divorced him because children was the outcome Ooh. that I wanted to have. Ooh. It is what it is. It you could have, you literally could have adopted. Mm. You could have gone terrible, down that route. But, but like I told him from the beginning, like I wanted, I got married so we could have children. Wow. And we found out we have children after we got married. So now I am actively looking. Wow. Is a bitch. How do you know you're going to be able to carry your children? To turn. Exactly. I know. That's a, you I don't know. know it, it is. Ter I'm not. It is. It is. I'm. I'm. Like I said. I'll, so I'm, I'm, I'm asking seriously, man. It's not Go really away, man. judging as much as I'm just trying to hold a mirror up to you because you say That's this right. shit. The shit you say to people around you, and they let you believe this stuff. I'm telling you, somebody who got no dog in the fight. Uh, you can't make this up. This How is. Old 35 play in all types of um arenas i work in those arenas i work in all of those okay how about this do me a favor okay uh, talk to me like i'm four or a cocker spaniel because you're not really saying anything and you said you how old again i will let you guess that, I don't. That, I, I don't. I don't play these games. You either answer my questions or I'll bid you a good night. Forty-three. Hey, okay. one thing I don't do is I don't do these things. No, I don't know you, so you've been know. married. Wow. To, we all know this. Keep going. But then, well, I will say this though: you've gone from thirty-five to forty-three, just like that. That's amazing. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Yeah. This crazy. <laughs> I don't like liars. <laughs> Oh, why would you lie about your age? That is embarrassing. Best to date, not just to have a relationship. You don't have to put a title on everything, Kevin. That's what you need to start telling these people. A title, you don't. No, have I need. To I need to. What I need to do is I need to direct people to this video and show you what's wrong. You don't need to put a title on nothing. It needs to just be free flowing. Yeah. Yep. And, and over here, stuff works. Where you at? It don't. You don't need to put a title on everything. You can have you can have you can have babies out of wedlock. You don't need to be married. You can do what you want to. Mm -hmm. We're the only community that operates like that. That's why you gotta take power back from these mindsets. <laughs> have you ever opened up something at the building and it came with instructions? Of course. And it came with parts. Of course. The way you're talking is you just start doing shit. <laughs> you don't need the instructions. You don't need that. Just start putting shit together. <laughs> mm-hmm. You want to live on the oh, fifth floor of a building like that? Bro, you know she's smiling because she knows she she get a little little sign from Amazon and she just start putting it together. I don't need that. Yeah, but then when you've built the thing, oh, I put the wrong screws in. Oh, now I've got to think. Blood. I know, listen, I know where she's coming from. And she's trying to say it as you don't have to put a title and everything. Okay. I understand where she's coming from, like, especially in this generation, yeah, like, there are so many open relationships now, and that could just be, like, marriage as well, um, they're, they're, like, especially in this day and age, like, there are married couples, and they still have, like, open relationships, that's, for me, that's a bit odd, for me, like, I wouldn't be having that, but, listen, people can be, people are people, people do their own thing, however, there are, if you don't end up putting titles on things, what happens? Destruction. Destruction. 
Like, if you don't end up putting title on things, certain people just start moving crazy. Yeah? If you don't say, oh, we're in a relationship, then that person can go and do and cheat and do all this. Oh, but we were never in a relationship. We, we never put a title on this thing. It's like, if you don't put title on things, it just leads to mass destruction. It's as simple as that. You have to put some kind of make some kind of agreement somewhere like you can't just be like oh we're in a relationship but we're seeing how no you're either in a relationship or you're not you're even you're e you're e you're either sorry boyfriend or girlfriend you're either married or you're not married like you can't just be oh yeah we're we're, we're taking a little break we'll see what's that all about you either break up or you don't that's it but I, you know this is again this kind of my generation a little bit younger that's why people be moving crazy man when it comes to relationships and men and women like oh we, we don't need to put a title on this like really you got me sweating heaven i'm gonna leave mm -hmm. i gotta go yeah bye so when's the last time you held a job um like a year ago i was cashier okay and i was that an injury or something no so no, just, just I was I was fired for being late. So you just lazy? No, no, it was. So you just trying I, I was late. Nice fingernails. Thank you. Did you do those yourself? No. You went and got them done. Mm hmm. Who paid for that? I paid for them. With what? With the unemployment money. Are you trolling me? No, but Kevin, don't you think I have to look like something? I think right. you need to. I think you need to grow up. Oh, okay. If you were a, if you were a man, they would call you a deadbeat. <laughs> the only reason you get away with this is because you got two kids and you get unemployment, so you are juking the mm -hmm. state. Mm -hmm. And you got the nerve to have these fingernails up like you got money to pay for them. Shit. There's a football player, Brian Banks. Ah. He spent five years in jail. The woman who accused him of lied about it she got two million dollars in some sort of settlement or something wow, or whatever. Wow, 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 wow. then she was found out to be lying video evidence proof her confessing that she made the entire thing up has she served one day in jail nope so when they lock your son up take his rights ruin his life life not as because once that's out there it's yeah. there forever it yep, never yep. goes away no and then I really she... right. I don't think my son would ever be in that situation. Really? I'm just saying. Damn. I want you guys to understand what she just said. I raised my son right. I don't think he'd ever be involved in that situation. Anyone you mean can be involved in... with a vindictive lying woman. Yeah. Listen, this goes both ways. This this goes both ways, men and women. Like you you can get into a relationship and the man's crazy. Like you listen. You can't you can't listen it's very hard to judge people like you and i'm not saying you should judge people but pe so there are people out there and they are hard to judge man like they they can come across as a really nice per person um good morals uh you know it just overall may have good family members around them come from a good home all that stuff right but sometimes it takes a few months to get you know close to them and you start realizing some certain traits that it's like whoa you never use listen when you when you get into a relationship with anyone right like the first six months to a year are oh, the honey you like the honeymoon and then after that that is when you're gonna find stuff out about that but you're gonna start seeing the real traits the true traits not when you were first dating and going out or not you know having fun and all that listen when you break through that that cycle of having fun oh yeah like we you know we're early birds listen that's when you start finding out the truth about the other person so when she's saying that my son will never be in that situation you never know who you're going to come across man you never know who who the who the mur murderer is in the room like you know that's why <laughs> That's why you have investigators. That's why you have, uh, you know, criminology, cr cr criminologists. Sorry, you know. Otherwise, if you knew who the murderer was, we didn't need any people like that. But I'm just trying to make a comparison there. It's like you never know what that person gets up to, especially behind closed doors. 
Do you live in the United States of America? Yes, I do. Holy shit, that sounds bad. You're making it sound bad. Yeah. It, it's the truth. You have a three-year-old who's a cancer survivor, and you're about to go out and put her off on a, not your mother, but your mother's mother. Oh, she's in her, like, 80s right now. I mean, I'm I'm happy, like, you're actually talking to me about this because I would never know, like, if this is not okay or not. What is so yeah. goddamn important that you got to get out to drop a three-year-old with an 80-year-old? Honestly, nothing. Like, I was, like, I was honestly just trying to go out and, like, you Don't know, have, have a kid. To, Blow off just, steam. Yeah, I mean... Don't have children. If you ain't ready to settle down, to don't have you kids. The way that you feel like you should be treated or how you deserve to be treated. So it's always good to have a backup plan. But I'm not saying have a backup plan. Because you should be faithful to your man always. No matter well, what. Well, okay. Have you been drinking? Have you been drinking? Oh, no, we don't play that shit. You know how that goes. Oh, okay, yeah, I have. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't do that shit. I don't play no, that snarky ass comment. Last time. No, I don't. But I don't play that snarky comment. No, but no. Uh, okay, okay. So here's the thing. Okay, you. Same thing as last time I went live with you. I was drinking. Uh, yeah. Last notice. I'm going to answer your question. I'm going to answer your. I'm going to respond to your statement. All right, go ahead. If you're saying a man is not treating you right, get another man. But the thing is, no, 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 because because if I flipped it up and saying if your woman ain't doing what you want to, and, and I told a man to go out and get some more ass, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> Bro, you don't worry about you don't have to facts. ask the guy the kind of money he has because the men you typically date are older and have money. Yeah. But I think, I mean, in general, but my, like... But my point is, me and your age wouldn't have standard chance with you because they most don't have money. Thank you. Right. But I'm... I mean, to each their own, everyone is different. I think no, that... Each is... Each is everybody's different. We're more alike than anything else. And the bottom line is this. Uh, would you like to be married one day? Yes. Okay. Um... Are you going to be submissive, submissive and obedient to your husband? There she goes. You can't make this shit up, people. <laughs> you can't make it up. Oh, man, honestly. Why are you and your? Why didn't you marry the man you chose to have a child with? He wasn't good enough for me. Well, then that's your. Okay, so what I need you to understand, on the open dating market, you come into the open dating market with a baby. From a man, you say, wasn't good enough for you. To us, to men like myself, to men with good sense, that would say she is a poor judge of character because she gave a man the highest honor a woman can give any man on the planet, a child. And then wow. she gave a man who wasn't good enough for her, a baby. Sorry, ma'am. Don't get upset because I agree with that. That was deep. But if you agree with it, then understand. I agree. There's with a that reason. Part, but I also want to say that I'm allowed to make poor judgments in yes, my but, life because. Well, oh, yeah, you. Oh, yeah, you are. But you, you are. Stop. No, yeah, you are. But we don't have. <laughs> but understand some. Listen, so listen, I'm listen, good. listen, listen. <laughs> you are. But the world does not owe you understanding. Okay. Even with that one, yeah. Like I understand where she was coming from there. Like. You, listen, you can't always make a good You can't always make good judgments in your life You could meet The girl or the man or whatever the case may be You can meet the person of your dreams Fall in love You do all this Have a wonderful life Have kids and then all of a sudden They don't want to be with you anymore Or they want to go off and do crazy things And be unloyal And it's like That's not your fault However, you shouldn't claim, you shouldn't claim, you know, oh, you know, he weren't good, he weren't this, and he weren't that. Like, you shouldn't be making claims like that and statements like that. You should just go on, move on, do your thing. And sometimes it's hard. If you have a kid with someone, like, like you said, like, having a baby or having a child with someone is, it's one of the most meaningful, meaningful things. Like, especially if you're a man. And, you know, you're, she's literally accepting you. Like, she's having a baby with you. Like, she's pretty much, she's given birth to a, a part of you. 
you know and that that to any man that means something that is a that's a lot of meaning in it but on the flip side if he then goes and cheats and does all of that i understand that like that, that that's not the woman's fault that's his fault and that you can't say that you're she's always a judge a poor judge of character because sometimes you can meet someone who is just wow but your mayor is uh you know claim to be this person has a good job has a good career was loyal to you and then all of a sudden they're moving mad so sometimes it's hard to judge a book by the cover but you know like i said you can't then all of a sudden saying he weren't good enough he weren't this if you if you're if you're um with someone who is a, a bad person or a bad man and he's doing all these crazy things being disloyal you know cheating on you doing this doing that and then you have a baby with him that is your fault that's your problem that and i think in that in that situation there i think maybe she knew he was all of the, all of those things and she still decided to have a child with him that is for me the the woman's fault but the other way around nah so you got two fair fair points there two fair statements or two situations where sometimes you just never know but then if you know you you're in the wrong for that so i cheated a lot in the beginning yeah. then i ended up leaving him he cheated once and i couldn't um get over it and i haven't been able to get a solid relationship since then child with him and then a child after him it was, the, the child after him was like a revenge thing i was okay. upset yeah. okay, well. and i had a child by his cousin oh, um, my question is i'm trying not to be salty towards Ooh. like all men and i'm trying why to should you, why should you be salty why? i mean, have no disrespect but what you just said is you told a story where you were a young woman dealing with a man and for 10 years, you were fucking around. He cheats one time no, and you No, no, not the whole 10 years. Not the doesn't matter. Ten. It doesn't matter. 10 years, three years, and five years, you were cheating a lot. Yeah. He I cheats was. one time, then you decide to get salty and leave. And then on the way out, you screw his cousin and have a baby with him. That's bad. But it's not like his blood. And, and I'm just getting the story right, man. That's bad. You leave. Wow, that last one was crazy. Like... You go, you revenge, why revenge isn't in your hands? Karma is not in your hands. Karma is, or revenge, if you want to start speaking, talking about God, it's in God's hands. It's in the universe's hand. It's not in your hands to take revenge. That's karma for you. Ah, honestly, man, like, listen, I know it's not all women. I know that for a fact, like, not all women are like that. If a man shoots on you, you just be gone. <laughs> get far away from them and that's it and live your life don't why would you get yourself involved in that stuff man like you just leave you should just leave them if you have a kid it's a little bit different okay you may have to communicate now and then and stuff like that but listen none of that would be your fault but you've just turned it around and now you look worse than him because you're cheating on him multiple times he's cheating on you once and I'm not taking away anything from the man's perspective. Um, you know, he shouldn't have done that. But if you're then moving crazy, sleeping with his cousin, then cheating him multiple times, you look worse than him now. So, oh man, honestly, like watching this video, like, and I, do you know what? Yeah, with Kevin Samuels, someone like Kevin Samuels, like he can come across very stubborn, very, oh, I'm not going to let you, you know, he doesn't really let give you a say, but to the people that, want to listen and that are actually investing into what he's saying we'll sit there and listen and won't say a word because as soon as you start saying but this but that you're not listening to what he's saying and he's obviously he comes from an old cloth he's old school he's not going to be sitting there being oh, all happy and nice to you like he's going to tell you how it is he's he's a direct guy if you don't like it then you know you carry on doing your thing but i just wanted i just wanted to see what some of the women would be liking this video because there are some deluded women out there man like I'm, listen so i don't get hate it the same with men you know they're deluded men out there as well and women but just some of the things they're coming out with man like <sighs> you listen i personally don't think unless you're on a level where you're bringing you're attractive you're bringing something extra to the game like you're bringing 
wisdom, knowledge. Like you're you're trying to be successful with your man. You're not. You we're, listen. Men aren't going to be inter high valued. Men aren't going to be interested in you. High value high valued men are interested in women that bring value. They bring something else to the table, not women that don't have a job or. Oh, I just want to have kids and, you know, just sit sit back and... No, that's not how it works. That's not how it... Because this isn't, this isn't American movies where you see rich the rich man... Oh, I fell in love with a rich guy and, you know... Listen, that that's not re realistic, man. Rich guys, high-value men, they don't date women like just beautiful women like they don't do it they actually they, what you don't see behind the scenes is what they're bringing to the table they're probably bringing value they're probably helping out with the businesses they run they're probably doing all of that stuff the things that you don't see yeah they're not just women that just sit in the sun on the sun lounger all day drinking cocktails having oh yeah i can do what i want no no you don't see the other side and what they're bringing and same goes with men that aren't getting paid over six figures like the men that are mature and want you know a good wife like you want your wife to be invested in you you want your wife to be bringing things to the table as well as you are and giving bringing you ideas and, and uplifting you like not someone that just has you know all the physical attributes like listen that is good but it's not good. That doesn't that only go so far, man. The amount of what you think one woman, one woman, you think, oh, I've got big boobs, big breasts, and what? Listen, you get plenty of women out there like that. <laughs> That's why men cheat. That's why certain men cheat and are disloyal and all this because they can just go like that. They can just pick, 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 pick. Listen, and I'm not saying that's a good thing, but all I'm saying is. When people say, oh, yeah, you know, you have to be attractive. Nah, that's not, that's not, attraction isn't, attract, attraction only goes so far. It only takes you so far. It's about what you do as well. And that's what counts, man. That, these, some of these women don't understand that. And that's why I love Kevin Samuels because he, he's just direct with them and tells them straight. But anyway, guys, it was quite a long video, man. But listen, I needed to get, listen, I, some of the words I was screwing up, but this is my first video in two weeks. I'm a bit rusty, so forgive me. If I've gone on a little bit as well, forgive me. I've, you know, that's one of the things this year I'm trying to work on is like, just stop talking, start the video and get going. But it's obviously been half an hour. I'm a little bit camera shy, a little bit nervous uh, since two weeks ago. So, hey, give me a break, man. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you want more Kevin Samuels, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this video. Guys, you hear your boy Jordan, and I will see you in the next video.